In this video, we're going to take a look at incomplete information. By that, we don't just mean games where there are multiple nodes in different information sets, but also that random things happen. So here's how we can represent this. Players, again, are in squares, and um, random events are in circles. So in this game, you flip a coin, and then player one and player two both choose red or blue. And note that they're doing it at the same time because this node, these two nodes here are in the same information set. And then we can read off the utilities. Now, normally in this type of game, we'd like to use backwards induction, but we can't because of this information set here. So what we have to do is get the corresponding normal form representation of the game. Our strategies for player one are red, 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 blue, blue, red, and blue, blue. And the strategies for, us for player two are red and blue. Now remember here, we have to take into account all possible strategies, whether or not they occur. So this red, red says player one will choose red if he's here, and blue and red if he or she is here. We can calculate the expected values of all of these. So we take into account the probabilities here and we write down the utilities. And then we can try and solve this game. Thankfully, this game is actually quite quick to solve because we see that S1 dominates S2, at which point um, our game is reduced to just a single column, and we see that the Nash equilibrium is blue-red and red.